going. And we are underway from AT&T Stadium. Whitehead, the return. And his guys are going to start their drive right at the 20-yard line. One man in the backfield, Elliott. Now a play fake here on first down. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Two yards on the pick up there, but it's enough to give him a new set of downs. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. More now. Drops it underneath to Elliott. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. He's got the connection to Cole Beasley. That one good for him. Well, he challenged the play. It did not pay off. And that means he lost a timeout in that challenge. And as a coach, you hate that. Don't know if you took the advice of the player. You threw it yourself, but it didn't go your way. At the end of the day, it all comes back to the head coach. He has the final determination of whether to actually challenge the play or not. In this case, it didn't pay off for him. And that's got to be so heartbreaking. You throw that flag, you probably feel really confident, and then all of a sudden, boom, you lose the challenge. Yeah, when you take a look at it, you're throwing that flag because you believe you're going to be right. And when it comes back the other way, you have to regroup. Looks like a nickel set here defensively on third and two. Yeah, maybe expecting a throw. Now more. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by the veteran corner, D'Angelo Hall. And his guys are going to take over at the 21-yard line. Well, they thought they were going to break the tie. The defense had other plans. They were already in field goal range, but boom, an interception. I don't know if this was a case of being a little bit too greedy with the opportunity to put points on the board, but give credit to the guys on the defensive side. Hung in there, battled, and made a key play. And he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. A little bit of ground to make up for the offense as they face a second and 11. And the offense there, the O-line, everybody really on offense, they were just manhandled at the point of attack. Yeah, you could pretty much call them all out, couldn't you? And almost by name, right? That was a very tough sequence for the offensive line. But how about that defensive front creating a new line of scrimmage and creating a lost yardage possibility? Incomplete pass on second down. Let's see what the offense draws up here on third. On third down, Cousins. On the catch, it's Crowder. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. The goal of every offense is to move the chains, pick up first downs. A nice job finding an open receiver for a completion. Now a first down carry by Jones. Able to get away. That's why you keep the legs churning. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Again, it's Jones, and he'll take this one up close to about the 45. And he got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. Offense coming up, needing two yards on third down. I think we know by now that every run is not going to be broken and get all the way to the end zone. But these short ones still have their value. You can still set up your play action and throw it. And he will go down. A Cowboy 
All right, so the call stands. Tough now. They're out of challenges. Do you like the amount of challenges they have in the NFL? I, I do, because I think it brings a little extra strategy into the game about a head coach trying to determine when is the right time to pull the challenge flag, or maybe I let that one pass because I might need it later on in a bigger situation. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially, give him 15, and possession will switch here as this offense will come on deep in their own territory. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And on the left side, he's got Witten. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. They'll look to throw here on first down. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. Well, we're not playing three yards in a cloud of dust football anymore. I kind of get why those old school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football. Because if it's popped up in the air, it almost turns into slow motion. And both sides trying to get to the football, and you're holding your breath wondering whether it's going to go good or bad for your team. Defense looking to hold serve one last time here on third and seven. We always like to talk about defense in terms of level. First level defensive line, second level linebackers, third level defensive backs. On that run, that was what we call a first level run, and it was stopped by a second level player. And he'll be marked down deep in Washington territory. A big play there on the catch and run. And even 70 yards. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. A well-executed screen pass means the offensive line has bluffed the defenders. They make them think that they could just get through and get to the quarterback. Sitting alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, as it is Cowboy football to begin quarter number two. And they've got it here with a first down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Ezekiel Elliott taking it in from four yards out. And the Cowboys are in for six. Solid job up front. Really just a solid job all the way around to get that one in. Yeah, that was well executed, wasn't it? Well blocked, well run. End result, six points. Touchdown. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Fairly short kick, taking it to 14 here. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And they'll be looking to avoid what happened last time, which is punting the football. But when you look at how teams play the game, that complimentary football comes into play. How do I take care of my defense? How do I take care of my offense? Well, the defense is taking care of them in a lot of ways. Now it's time for the offense to jump things up and help their defense out. Give them a little bit of rest. Yeah, time, time for them to give them a rest. Took the words right out of my mouth. A play fake to Jones. Now Cousins. He's got the hook up here to Deshaun Jackson. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. Okay, what can't Deshaun Jackson do? All right, we know about the catches. We just saw another one there. Also gets involved in the return game. And he can break big plays like that. We've seen him do it throughout his NFL career. We have. What are you, are you thinking of anything in particular? Yeah, I'm still remembering a certain Giants punter. <laughs> Not following orders. And Deshaun Jackson made that big time return all the way back for a game winner in that one. I still remember seeing the looks of disbelief on the Giants sideline. Back to the ground, this time with Jones. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. How many times do we say in this game that speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways? In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty. Can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary, and that led to a really nice game. 
There's another example of why they haven't scored any points so far. I think it's time to abandon the run game, spread things out, and go to the air. It certainly can't be any worse than what they've done so far. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. He lost two, and it brings up fourth. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yardage. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. A little bit of a lower trajectory there on the deep kick, and it worked. Had to do it because he had to drive it out low because of the length of the kick. Able to do that, got it above the defense, and over the post. And a nice job there as he gets this one up, just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. We focus our attention on the Redskins' defense now. Last drive, touchdown, surrender. Here, see if they can stop them. It's always a constant battle of letting the last series go, good or bad. Ezekiel Elliott going to take it the distance. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Cowboys are able to show off their quick strike ability. And always a good first half when you can hit pay dirt twice. And it never hurts to have that good feeling as the game moves on. Just think about halftime. If, if that's is all he gets, he'll just sit there at the half and think, all right, two already. I can get some more. I can get some more. And he'll be encouraging his offensive line to create some space. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And the Cowboys' defense, they march back out onto the field. And even though that last drive yielded points, it was a long field goal, so they probably weren't too upset about it. Although here, obviously, they'd like to give up zero. Of course. That's the goal each and every time out. But when, when they make that type of a field goal that long, you almost give a little nod of respect to the kicker, like, congratulations. But you do feel pretty good about not giving up anything big. Yeah, and we'll see if they can not give up anything big on this drive. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. It's a gain of five on the play, and that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. Two minutes remain here in the first half. We're back to Arlington right after this timeout. A reminder, coming up at halftime, Larry Ridley will join us from Orlando with our halftime report, but business to take care of before that. Third and short yardage, Cousins. He finds his target, it's Crowder. Touchdown, Washington! Jamison Crowder, 65 yards. And the Redskins are able to make this a close game again. Good pass, clean catch, and a house call there on the fly route. And not that much room to operate. So that tells you about his acceleration. We always talk about being able to go from 0 to 60 real fast. Took him less time than that to get to top speed and complete that play. This is taken at his 4. So out come the Cowboys now as their offense gets set to take over. And coming off a one-play drive that was so deflating for the defense, what, what's their mentality? How do they rally here and stop this offense? Well, hopefully there's some determination that sets in because I, they weren't ready to go on the last one. Give all the credit to the offensive guys for getting it done, but to allow a run of that length, that's just not being prepared. So now, are they determined? Are they ready to read their keys and make the proper plays? And yeah, we'll see how determined they are. So they complete the pass, and now they face a second down. Here we go now. More now. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Oh, man, for him to be that wide open and drop it, 
Sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. And three full yards here for the offense to get on third down. Bryant, the lone receiver left. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And that's caught by Beasley. And he takes this one all the way across midfield into enemy territory down to the 40 yard line. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. They go play action here on first down. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Bashad Breland. And they're going to set up shop at the 27 yard line. That's sort of a second quarter to forget for him. Now two picks in this frame. Almost as if the first one that he threw, he couldn't shake, couldn't get it out of his head. He ends up throwing a second one as a result. Compounds the mistake a little bit. Yeah, you got to be able to forget, compartmentalize, whatever you want to call it, and move on. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Cousins now on second down. Jackson's got it over the middle. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Cousins on first down. Five men, no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. The corner blitz pays off there as they sack him for a loss of five. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Cousins. This one complete to Jordan Reed. They find some open field here. The 30. And all the way down to the 22-yard line. A big play there just before halftime. 43 yards. So here we go, first and 10 now. Coaches really don't care from what position they get this, but run after the catch ability, rack ability, is often the difference between winning and losing and changing field position. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And with a clock reading zeros, he is into the end zone. What an exclamation mark to the end of this second quarter. Indeed, indeed. So we have come upon halftime. Well, we're going to let you off a little easy there, LR. Halftime interrupted, and we are ready to get to this third quarter. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. They have the lead now. They'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. We'll see if they do just that. There's a completion to the tight end, and I think they were looking at something out of central casting, frankly. Absolutely. I mean, size, the hands. Speed. I mean, can flat out run. You put that whole package together, you light up the eyes of an offensive coordinator, don't you? Give them 18 on that one. And that leads to a Washington first down. One of the feature points of the in route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looking. Now Jones is hit. He lost the football. Hopping over the top. Wow. That ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. Cousins with a give to Jones. Only three yards on the pickup. They'll be left staring at a third and 14. Third down, still 14 yards left. Play fake. Cousins. Surveying the field. Crowder's got it over the middle. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. What a hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, 
and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Online, but off the crossbar, no good. A long-range effort denied three points at the very end. All things considered, a pretty good kick. Just cruel punishment there to be denied by the crossbar. If you're going to hit from that distance, sometimes you're going to need a little luck. And unfortunately for him, this time the break goes against him. Here's Elliott. He'll get three up to midfield. Give the tackle there to Josh Norman. Yeah, that wasn't a big run, just a short one there. But guess what? Sometimes you treat it like boxing. You throw that jab out there, and you throw it again, you throw it again. Then you come with a big punch later. Maybe they're just trying to set him up. It's a five-receiver set. Three to the left, two to the right. Now Moore. Out left side here to Bryant. 20! And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Des Bryant, 50 yards. And the Cowboys have retaken the lead. And there they got him the ball. Just get it to him, let him do the rest. You know, he probably said that to his quarterback as he broke the huddle. I like the play call. Just get it to me. I'll take care of the rest of it. Helping out his rack, right? R-A-C. Run after catch. And he loves that. And he's going to carry that in at contract time. Fairly short kick. Taking it to 14 here. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And they've got to be a little bit frustrated about that last drive. Missed field goal. Always hurts a team because, you know, you put something out there. You've given yourself a chance. You're in range, and the ball doesn't go through the post. But it's not something to panic about, I don't believe. Just keep playing and keep going. After the penalty, it's Jones. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. It's a five-yard pickup, so essentially they get the penalty yardage back, and it's back to second and 10. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace it. 10 yards still left on second down. Now a second down throw for Cousins. Doxon with a grab over the middle. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. And boy, they had high praise for this rookie receiver when we asked the coaches about him, didn't they? They certainly did, and obviously they liked his measurables. Otherwise, they wouldn't have brought him on to the team. Height, weight, speed, all of that. But how about what they really said? Competitiveness. That's what they really liked about him. The way he goes after the football, competes for it, and decides when it's in the air, it's his and only his. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. Play fake here on first down. Right side caught by Jackson. And he's brought down. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. And when an offense is doing a nice job selling the play action pass, a lot of responsibility shifts to the linebackers. They're the ones that have to determine run or pass and get to the proper places on the field. Cousins now. This one caught by Crowder. The completion good for three and it's second down. Final minute now of the third quarter. They'll come out in the pistol. Again, it's Cousins. And Reed with it over the middle. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. Fresh set of downs here. And the coaches always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. 
That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when, when he when he back now in Arlington, it's the Redskins with the football, but trailing here as we get down to the good stuff. Quarter number four. One man in the backfield. That's Jones. And they'll give it to him here. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Call it a gain of four, and it'll leave him with a third down and six to go. I think that run gives us evidence that the defense is getting a little bit tired out there. They've been out in the field for a long time, and that last run, they just cut right through. Now they'll run it on the toss. And a loss of three to bring up four. So the myth has been shattered. Every cornerback in the league is not just a cover corner. Some of them will stick their nose in there and make plays exactly as we just saw there. A big loss suffered by the offense after that nice tackle. And Hopkins' kick is good. And the drive will wind up yielding three. All right, so this one's now back within a field goal. And if anybody tells you they see how this one's going to end, I'd have to say they're probably lying, Charles. And this game's had more twists and turns than a good mystery novel. And I have a feeling we've got a few more twists and turns in store for us before they shake hands here. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And out now come the Cowboys. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown right, looked pretty good, so they'll be hoping to do that once more. And it takes me back to when we sat with the offensive coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense, and they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do just that. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Looking for his running back, and he's got it. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. And when you have a guy in the backfield who can catch the football, you don't just use him strictly for check downs or dump offs. You make him part of the primary passing attack because what you're trying to do is get him into open Let's field go. and then let him make people miss and advance the football. They'll try and run some clock now with Elliott. And he stopped immediately there. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that load in the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. Puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. Call it a pickup of seven, and that'll bring up a third down. But that's what you're looking for when you're wanting to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. Now Moore. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. So he makes the grab and the chains move forward. Nice job by the offensive line giving them time to complete that first down pass. They come up in an empty set. Four wide receivers, one tight end. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Out left side here to Bryant. The 20, Des Bryant with nothing but green grass ahead of him. Touchdown, Cowboys. Des Bryant, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. This is fielded at the goal line. Spinning past him. Oh, what a move. Oh, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle it. in Washington as they come onto the field. And last time, able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. 
They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down. You're set up very well for the rest of the drive. And he'll be out of bounds up past the 45. Holding offense. Yeah, that right there will set them back a bit Still on the offensive that. holding penalty. And you know who you want to pressure after a penalty like that? The guy who just committed the foul. You want to see if he's going to keep his head down or if he's going to get his head right back into the game. I'd send a blitz at him right away and see if he holds up. Cousins now on second down. Drops it to Jones in the flat. And a pretty little juke move there on a nice gain. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. He's having a nice game through the air. His decision-making's been really good. Solid there again. Just seeing nothing downfield goes underneath. Nice game. How about the patience? Because when you're having a big game through the air, you're looking for those chunk plays, those big ones downfield. Instead, as you noted, takes the check down, dumps it off, gains good yardage anyway. Really well executed. Time for a break. We'll come back, see what transpires after this. So it's Redskin football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Back to throw. And he just gets rid of it, throws it away. The lies move there, look like nobody open. Now second down. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. Out to the left here to Reed. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. So third and two, and I count six defensive backs out there. They'll look to throw. Jordan Reed has it. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And the offense moving quickly to the line. He's back to throw. Bringing it in, Jackson left side. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Second down now after the pass completion. He'll look to throw. And oh! Crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off, Byron Jones. And he'll be stopped shy of the 15 at the 14-yard line on the return. Well, they needed the touchdown and the two-point conversion, but they're not going to get a shot at either. This is a great play here defensively, Brandon, and in a time that they sorely needed one. And that could be enough to help get them out of here with a victory. They start on the ground with Elliott. And he'll use his blockers to get this up over the 20 to the 21. Holding offense. So he got his hands a little too far outside. The ref caught him through the flag. They come up in an offset eye. After the penalty, it's Elliott. Ezekiel Elliott going to take it the distance. He's at the 30, past the 20, 10, 5, and he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. And that touchdown should make you feel comfortable. But do you really feel like it's totally over yet? Not totally, but I think you're pretty much there. Yeah, you've still got to make sure you stay with it, do all the right things down the stretch, especially on defense. But that touchdown there, you've got to feel good about your chances. Extra point try by Bailey. Oh, they 
flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. And unable to connect. They don't get the two-point conversion here. Okay, they went for the fake off of the, the extra point attempt. It's a long way to go, and they didn't get there. Didn't get it completed successfully. Did someone dare them to do that? Did, did, did someone double dog dare yeah, them I was to do that? What maybe was that? They, they saw something on film, but do you see something on film with those to try something from the 15 on a PAT? The, I don't know. The only thing they needed to see on film there was a snap, a hole, and someone kicking the ball through the post. Now the Redskins offense, they get set to go back to work here. And the interception thrown in the red zone last time. We'll see if they can rebound. I just have to think the last thing he said as they went back out there was, don't do that again. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I think that. I think that not only did he say that, but he also told him, let's put it in the end zone that it's supposed to be in, all right? The end zone we're trying to score. I know we're being a little bit facetious here, but the bottom line is take care of the football and everything else should flow from there. Quick lesson, never ask the play-by-play -play guy a question. <laughs> hey, you're my partner. I know you're right there with me. Give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. And now they're in the hurry up. Now Cousins gives to Jones on the delay. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Second down, Cousins. He's going to let it fly. And it's knocked away and incomplete. He was trying to find Deshaun Jackson that time. And that'll make it third down. That's a bold strike right there, taking it downfield and putting some air on it. But how about the coverage? Able to get his hands across the receiver and bat the ball down. On third down, Cousins. He's got time. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. Oh, it's a touchdown if he holds on. Instead, it's fourth down. And when all else fails as a defender, when you're not there in the coverage, your best friend is exactly what we saw there. A big play shot taken by the offense. Unfortunately, it ended in a big drop. Cousins now. He's going to let it fly. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. Picked off. It's J.J. Wilcox. And that will write a finish to this ball game. Well, I know it points in this when you wanted to close your eyes because of all the points that were being put on the scoreboard, you're a defensive guy, but it was a fun little track meet, wasn't it? It was, and you know the people who really enjoyed this game? They're the ones that like going to batting practice at the Major League Baseball parks, <laughs> right? Seeing the 14 to 11 game, that sort of deal, that's right up their alley with what we saw in this one. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew.